Hello everyone. I'm audible. Yeah, hi. Hi Varnita. Hi Chandraya. Thank you. Yeah, just just let's for 5 to 10 minutes uh, so i want to answer few of the questions that were posted in the community then we can all you know get started okay okay so let us open few community questions that were posted going to my channel here sure i'll So uh, there were like four questions that were asked uh, in the com community. Let me start answering uh, them first. So first is how to crack Tableau developer interview. So this is a, like very uh, generic question and very important question. So what we need here is first Tableau skills, which are very important. And uh, second, your SQL skills, which are very important again. and three is like how we are presenting so now the current problem in the market is our sql knowledge that we have like many of the interviewers are not satisfied with the sql answers that we are giving in the interview maybe because of that we are not getting shortlisted that is one problem area second problem area is the way we are explaining our project or the way we are explaining at the scenarios that we have got in the project that is leading to a rejection in the interview okay so these three areas we have to focus one like i said sql knowledge and the way we are explaining okay two so what to mention in resume for career gap students with fake experience how to prepare attractive and how to convince them at an interview time okay so Sure. So here, see, everyone will get, uh, you know, um, I mean, majority of them will have some kind of, uh, you know, 
career gap or an education gap before they uh, start their professional career or even after starting a professional career some might have gap in there like from first job to second job okay so there is one common scenario but how are we explaining how, how are we justifying so you have a gap because of some family issues or you have got a you know, gap because of some educational thing uh, or some or is it personal health related we can uh, tell that in the you know interview so in pro in resume what do we need to mention is first very important thing is what have we done in the project that is very important that has to be very clearly written and preferably in the first para of the project and who is your client okay so now here who is my client is like very big question okay suppose assume i am working for a tcs project a tcs company okay so tcs will deploy as in different 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 projects like say he has deployed me to cisco now cisco is my client okay so like that so first when you are being hired you will be interviewed for tcs next when you are being you know allocated to this cisco project or any project this cisco will become your client now client might take again second interview for you because he also want to know you know how is the candidate that i am going to hire so for that purpose he will you know judge you technically how you are good and all and after that he will hire you so in our project resume we have to write who is our client first one so this is a very attractive point for any interviewer or recruiter so they want to know to which client you have worked because there are many clients who are very popular like say cisco is there johnson and johnson are there or like you know there are some government based uh, clients are also there so you are working from for some banks and all so this kind of clients whenever you are mentioning in the resume they carry some uh, points or weightage like say i have worked for amazon uh, client from an x company like say capgemini so i have worked on that so now this amazon will add certain weightage to your resume because amazon is a very big client now second thing now after reading your client name he will feel okay this guy has something done worked for a good company second he will see what do you have done in that so this is where our main thing will come so first like trailer like i, I always say your trailer should be very good okay so highlight what are the key points that we have done even if you have not done what are the important thing that you want to mention you can write that in the first few lines of the project like and basic definition of what is the client what he does so you have to mention all of that in that thing okay and next is your roles and responsibilities that you have to mention in your resume for sure each project has its own role and its own responsibilities okay so today i might work on a different role my responsibility might be different but tomorrow again your role might be different in a different client and different responsibilities so we have to clearly mention what we have done in each project okay so write it down here you know each project client name definition or what does that client do and your roles and responsibilities in that project they are very important so you need to mention that okay so don't forget this very important here okay next is mm, now uh, one important tip for all those who are keeping like uh, many projects like say 3 to 4 years uh, of experience you have got and you are trying to put 3 to 4 projects now how can we categorize here one very important tip for everyone so like say if i keep four developer development projects assume okay i want to portray myself as tableau developer so for that what i am doing i am portraying as four development projects i have done now the expectation from the client will be that okay this guy has done or has worked on four development roles so he this guy will have lot of experience or exposure so if you are really working or a real time then you don't have to worry but there are some who are like you know uh, if i talk with respect to this like we are keeping some x number of years that we have worked on tableau and then we are trying to you know cover that using that experience so what we can do is 
we can tell that okay i have worked on migration project development project and support project you can categorize your projects like this okay so this remember this point here very 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 important okay support project development project migration project you can categorize your journey as this so this will give them the exposure that okay this candidate has worked in all kinds of environments okay support project my role will be different development project my role will be different migration project my role will be different so to start off you can either write that you are working in a support project or you are working in a migration project these two points you can write okay so now so now what is the difference here that we need to understand okay so so to make your life easy what you can tell that you have started your career as a support developer so what is mean by support developer here there are already reports that are available in tableau your job is only to see if there are any issues coming in that we are not preparing anything from scratch clear like there is already a movie that is available in amazon prime you are going and watching it and you are seeing if it is running or it is not running are there any issues like quality issues or it is getting stuck similarly there are already reports that are being that are already developed by developers and they are available in server so your job is to sh- make sure that they are working fine okay they do not have any issues or say like say some client is coming to you and telling rahul i know this value is not coming correctly then we have to download that report or see why that it is not coming so this is your first step of learning okay so this is where like say i am from non id or i am from a different background i am have started moving into tableau so first thing we can uh, tell is that i have worked, first worked initially i worked on support project for 6 months that is how i have explored tableau and learned about tableau using some uh, you know different platforms and now i next step like after seeing your performance your manager has said that okay you can take up this migration project now clearly we are not directly moving into development now we are moving into migration migration means again there is no stress of creating new charts already there is a photo copy that you have to create a copy of that okay so there is already a original photo seeing that you have to implement in tableau like say reports are moving from oba to tableau so already existing reports are there you have to see what are the functionalities that are available and implement the same functionalities in tableau that is how you have to do so this is your second step migration project very important now support project we have learned some 10 to 20 percent in migration project we have learned 20 to 30 percent next is your development project so in development project you can add two to two to three projects support you can add one project so support project is like long so if you have four years one year you can write it as maybe support project and maybe next one year you can write it as migration project and next two years you can write it as development project like this you can define yourself okay so next is uh okay so telegram group i'll create but i have not created uh, i'll soon create one and uh, next is we have so one question that is a uh, few questions coming in from snehal here uh, in the very first question we explain our project and daily activities yes we need to mention our domain right yeah like in which domain we are working banking so should you so could you please brief two to three domains like what terminology we should use or what are the products that we can use so like say this is very important guys explaining our project like i said like i always say in every interview how better we are explaining the better the chance that interview will prolong okay so now i uh, see i have worked on finance domain i have worked on currently i am working on healthcare domain and i have also worked on banking so here the difference is the terminology and the functionality that each domain will have specific so if i am talking about healthcare i might see like number of inpatients and outpatients number of claims insurance i am talking like number of uh, insured insurance uh, you know uh, 
recovered or number of insurance claimed or number of new insurers that we have what is the common uh, policy that we have like that so this is all about insurance health care number of claims number of hospitals number of beds availability all this will come in the hospital banking means like uh, accounts related thing uh, and all all that we have to talk about in this so what like i would suggest like today you might be working in any environment it can be you know uh, banking non banking so relate the story close to your job role current job role even if it is not from the technical background just try to relate it from your current work load work uh, role because when you are explaining if someone ask you that will be easy for you to explain suppose you are telling you know you are working in something else but you are telling in a, i am working in a banking project so when someone like interviewer might cross question you or ask you more questions then you will face lot of issues so that's why i suggest keep keep it close to your daily work life that will be very easy okay so that was the question from her and next question is uh, can you make one me- video on sql questions yeah i'll post one you know sql important questions soon and this is again very important please tell us more about daily activities in detail okay because sometimes what we watch video and say some things which you have no idea and we are speechless on the next question yeah this is one common problem that many are facing here because we are not from it background or we are trying to transition into it background understanding our day to day activities is very important see it's not like that daily we we'll go and create a charts we go and create a dashboard all that will not happen in a day okay suppose like again i'm taking the example of a movie to create a movie there are n number of days shooting goes on right so after shoot shooting there is some post production activities there some all so some dubbing activities there so after all of this happens they create a final copy of that similarly when we are creating a report there are lot of processes involved so initially for first one month all requirement gathering will be there so what i do on a day to day basis as a development role so my like i'll talk about one project which was for 6 months so daily uh, like we were already trying to replicate one project from an already existing report so we were given some like say one to two months of time to create that report now daily i used to go to office log into my report start working on that report save it and at the end of the day we we used to have meeting with our manager or our on site counterparts and then we used to tell like what we have achieved so far and we will publish that to server so next day when i come in again so i know where i have stopped so i'll start again working from there like sheet by sheet i used to go so one today i might complete one dashboard one dashboard mean again it might have like four worksheets or five worksheets like this so i'll complete all of that today save it and test it so tomorrow i'll come again and again i'll create another dashboard which might have three four sheets or sometimes we create only one worksheet so all of this kind of activities we happen so daily log into your mailbox check your mails see the pro, uh, see if there are any mails from clients because there are n number of reports that are there in the production environment so it is not like you will be continuously working only on this report there might be some issue that is there in the production report client might ask to look uh, look us into this and after that you can continue developing your report now you will spend some amount of your time in seeing or identifying what that report is and after that issue is fixed you will reply back to the client that so and so was the issue in the dashboard you have fixed and now you after that you start working on your development or your continue your development like that so suppose after seeing the production you have some thing you have found and you want to tell so you can communicate in the email so that is the standard process that we follow so mostly in emails you will get most of the tasks and you have to communicate in email also like how much of it you have completed what are the problems you are facing all that you have to tell them okay so these are our day to day you know uh, 
activities as a developer so like i said first we'll be introduced to the team where we have to tell uh, what all we need to uh, like simple introduction like how we introduce to ourselves Sim same like that it will be uh, they'll introduce like how many are developers and all you say just hi 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 and then we'll be given our own laptop where we have to raise few tickets to get our, our tableau thing uh, or our sub for software applications and all so once we get that we will be given some documents to refer or we will be given access to the existing reports so this is like you know your initial you know setting up stage before actually working on the reports so during that time try to explore as much as possible okay see what kind of reports they have created what are the calculations that they have written what is the database that they are using so all this you will get to know slowly day by day like one first one month or one week like lot of learning lot of information will be passed on to you take that and start slowly working on that so initially if you are not understanding anything don't worry you can reach out to your manager or your client and ask them ki boss i am not understanding this what is this or what is the exact requirement or if you don't want to directly tell that i know i did not understand you can tell ki from this mail i think that this is what you want is it correct you can present it that way also so that way if anything is wrong client might correct it so that way you'll get second time to hear what they want to tell okay so remember that so now let us read the comments here so so can you please share a day to day plan for tableau preparation so see tableau preparation first thing is going through the tableau completely second is learning about logics or functional knowledge is very important so these days you know i i was checking with my friend uh, you know who is actively looking for opportunities so i asked him what is the problem that you are facing so he was telling that you know uh, we we are being asked to write calculations and they are focusing on lods so i would suggest you know uh, maybe you can go to online.help.com where we have all the functional uh, things that are supported by tableau you can read them as much as possible so the more you know the better it is for you in real time as well because dashboard we will create but before that we will write logics so this is where majority of us will struggle okay so maybe i will use google you will use google using google we might get some answers but for some answers we might have to try so to try that also we should know what are the functions possibility like if is there if else is there case statement is there so using which of this we can achieve that thing we have to understand so that's why i suggest you to start learning about this and start practicing this this is very important so this is important not from the e interview perspective but your uh, job continuation perspective because every day we might have to write some code or to fix some code we have to do some tweaks so we should know which functions we can use and get that logic and this is the one problem area that many of us have or many of us fail to get so again we have to refer to google and all all that we do okay so start practicing more on that refer to tableau interview questions i think whatever we have on uh, our channel is more than enough but again it is like interview is purely luck okay sometimes you know we get questions from this or sometimes we get questions that are not in this okay but at least on an overall we should know tableau end to end i would say because you might ask from anywhere okay so mostly syllabus wise if i talk tableau is very limited exposure wise if i ask it is very unlimited i might have used tableau for a different purpose you might use tableau for a different pr purpose but when he is asking question at least we should know what is the concept that he is talking about even if you don't know the direct answer fine because no one knows 100% of anything okay so at least you can talk about the concept in the interview remember this point okay why because majority uh, not majority 
like if he is asking 10 questions 3 to 4 questions we might not know so in these in those 3 to 4 questions what we can do is we can answer concept wise so that way instead of you know directly uh, not attempting the question we are trying to attempt that question and at least trying to tell in the interviewer that okay boss so this is the concept of this so technically it should work like this i am not sure how it works but mostly i am assuming this is how it works so you can tell that like that okay so next is can you explain about my any development project how is the whole process happens in brief sure i can do that and uh, please cover more real time tableau scenarios and sql questions for interview and how to get more marks see so this is one very important question from i think pranit ji uh, how to get more calls from interview one very common area so first of all don't get discouraged if you are not getting any calls okay or you are not seeing any progress in that do not worry currently market is in a little poised stage because of that global factors okay so that's why like all the recruiters even though they need lot of developers they are in like in a poised stage to hire uh, to hire or not hire so once we get little clarity you will see again hiring boom you know so what we can do till till then is first thing is go to naukri go to indeed or wherever you are trying to apply search for a tableau don't look for experience don't do not filter anything okay just apply 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 apply, apply. that's it. whatever you see tableau role apply irrespective of your des- uh, irrespective of uh, the position that job is in our first step should be to apply and get to shortlisted so if we are only filtering that i want in hyderabad only i want in secunderabad only i want to go for a fresher role only i want to go for two two to three experience only then you are limiting yourself okay if there is something that should we want to reject that we should do not the recruiter that is how i feel so apply for as many postings as you can so after you are you know when you are applying it goes to the recruiter that time he will see your profile if he finds you know your profile is useful you will get call second step so first step is sending our profile so if you send to 100 people or 100 jobs you might get for 10 so from that 10 we don't know if we can get five calls or two calls so this step by step we should think okay first don't limit anything just apply anything it can be your job it can be anywhere it can be in india first thing is apply so second see if your you no know, if your profile is getting short listed or someone the hrs are taking any actions on your resume that thing you can see in your naukri thing okay so do this first apply all any tableau role you see apply them second see how the profile you know how what are the actions that are being taken on your uh, resume that way you will know how effective your resume is if you like if you continuously keep applying 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 that time recruiters will know that okay this candidate is currently actively looking for job that is how when your profile will come up in the floating list and that is when hr will look into your profile okay what is what this guy has done and all then again your headline in naukri is also very important what you want to communicate crisply communicate in the title of the naukri okay because uh, recruiters will not go the entire thing they will see this small story like the title of the your naukri thing like i can join in i have got so and so skills i can join in this this month and that's it so he will see if he finds relevant he will download your profile and he will call you calling is again our third step which means first two steps you have succeeded third step calling convincing them okay that you know you have got the tableau knowledge you can join them so then he will share that profile to the uh, client if he shortlists then your interview will be placed so these four steps are there so first three steps we have to manipulate four steps we have to give our best follow this step this is in naukri 
same thing you have to do it in indeed also applying in only one job plat platform will not serve the purpose or it will not help you in getting calls start with nowgri samely go to indeed and then start applying there also and then third and most powerful thing linkedin search in linkedin also many are posting job references scheme or not scheme job references related to tableau or thing in linkedin you can reach out to them you can reach out to the recruiters of the company to check so that will give you some you know advantage over others see I, if i am applying only nowgri i might get one call but if you are applying in nowgri indeed and linkedin you might get four calls so there is high probability so that's why approach from all like attack from all the sides whatever you know just apply <coughs> hope this helps okay let us see what is the next question here can you please help me how the reports are published in server and what are the steps involved in publish so this is one very important step for every developer okay so once we develop a report we need to publish it to a certain place so that the client can access it now like i said initially in development we will publish it to development environment when we are in qa we publish it to qa environment when we are in production we are publishing into production environment okay now when we are moving to production environment after qa which means after testing is completely done as you so what we need to download we have to download the report that is successfully tested in the qa environment okay download that report don't take the copy that is available from our local machine download it okay and then change or change the connection so this is this should be your checklist download the report okay second connect it to point so connect it to production so you have to change the correction connection to production environment which means you have to connect it to prod tables you have to uh, give prod link also, and check if your report is working fine or not okay so like all your functions are working or not or do a basic you know uh, high level testing of your report so if it is working fine then publish it to production server so this should be a checklist so before back end testing what we can do we can do is you can check if the tables that are there in qa are available in prod or not your table structure is same or not your columns names that are there in qa are same or not if anything goes wrong your report will fail then again you have to scratch it and a report is going fail what should i need to do ideally they maintain every environment in sync but sometimes names might go here and there because of some database issue or we might do something reports might fail so to avoid that issues after publishing before only we check if everything is in sync or not so once that is sync then we can directly publish it to server and we can check okay i hope you like it next is let us see hmm. can you explain about any development project how is the whole process so pranita has asked this question so so first thing is we get requirement okay so re we get requirement means if you are lucky you will be part of that requirement process so requirement process means you will come in you will sit with your lead and the business and you will discuss like how we are discussing now you are asking and i am telling you something similarly their business will trend okay pranita garu i need this report or i want this functionality i want a drill down report i want bar chart and my data is this so using that we we write it in a document okay so we write all the expectation from the client in one document so that will become your requirement document so in that document we also write what is the problem that we have like simply i cannot create one drill down report right so then uh, there we also need to mention what is the problem that we have or what is that we are trying to uh, achieve from this so that's why we mention okay that uh, because of uh, this issues my data issues uh, or because the client want to see only high performing sales we are doing so and so so all that we write in requirement document so that requirement document our lead will convert into technical requirement technical requirement means 
now i am talking to you in english language or like say telugu language i am talking to you so this is our functional requirement like i am telling draw bar chart okay or do, create a donut chart or you know create a filter that should give me only when i click on it it should show me only 28 in sales so these are all functional requirements right english language now this i am converting into technical language like year of order date is equal to 2018 or year of order date is equal to the select date then give me that sales so what i am doing i am converting into technical format here or using some technical uh, logics or table information i am using all that i am using using that that will become your technical document which is very important so first step is business requirement document second technical documentation where we write technical information so functional in functional requirement we do not know anything about it we only know what customer need or what client need that's it full stop next in next level our bs is like you know uh, what do you call the back end team business uh, you know uh, uh, people what they uh, do business analysts they will give us table information are rahul this information is present in this table you have to use this table so using that table get that information what that client is coming so all this will be available on our technical documentation so once that is done we will go to development or like say before that also after technical documentation is ready we again go to the business are boss see this is what i have prepared uh, you know prepared is this what you required or is there any change in the requirement so if he, if he feels fine with that he will tell he will give a go ahead and we can start our development and we will continue that again after development we will develop everything and we will present it to client it is not like that you know after giving requirement client 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 will come back after 6 months to check the report no every week you will have one demo call we call it as a demo call so in that demo call we will show the progress that we have done so far like how are which colors are we using how are we aligning our dashboard all that we will show to him so if he is fine he will ask us to continue and he'll give a thumbs up if he is insisting on some changes we will go and change that thing and again we will publish it in the next review so like that it is a refinement process so dashboard development is a refinement process remember this point it is not that on a day one you get 100% requirement and on date nth you will develop the complete no it is a refinement process every day you will share some progress on that sub progress you will receive some feedback and on that feedback you continuously work to develop a complete project remember like that. okay so once that is done you will do your testing our testing team will do testing so once that is done you will move to production that is how the process is the standard process okay so I, again i have kept it very simple i am not i am not talking here about environments and all i am just keeping it very general for you to understand okay so let us see can you make a video on how to plan for tableau interview concept wise okay sure i'll come up with one video on how to uh, do that how to plan for interview and uh, what else we got how many number of pro- so chandraya is asking how many number of projects with respect to years of experience so like again it all depends like you know if you are purely keeping only tableau uh, you know your tableau as a role and you are telling four years of experience so you can keep four to five projects each project you can keep like one year of experience or if at all you want to remove uh, you can keep it like two to three projects but what is important is how many number of reports you have created in that project is very important guys remember this because in in interview they might ask you how many number of reports you have created one very important question to answer like you can tell like uh, how many reports you have created reports are dashboards like some recruiters or interviewers will call it as a report reports and some call it as dashboard in each report we might have three to four dashboards 
ओके टेक्निकली स्पीकिंग बिकॉज इन टैब्लू टर्मिनोलॉजी वर्कशीट इज देर स्टोरी पॉइंट इज देर डैशबोर्ड इज देर थ्री थिंग्स आर देर राइट सो डैशबोर्ड ईच डैशबोर्ड इज अगेन कलेक्शन ऑफ एन नंबर ऑफ वर्कशीट सो लाइक दैट वी कैन हैव एन नंबर लाइक फोर टू फाइव आइडियली थ्री टू फोर डैशबोर्ड बट वी मैट हैव मोर और वी मैट हैव लेस सो दिस इज डैशबोर्ड एन नंबर सो डैशबोर्ड काउंट विल ऑलवेज बी हाइयर कंपेर्ड टू रिपोर्ट सो इन ईच रिपोर्ट वी मैट हैव थ्री टू फोर so like that if you are telling uh, you have done four reports like you can say on uh, average if i take 3 4 into 3 12 dashboards you have create in 12 dashboards you can have many sheets okay so calculate it like that so in that in this also how you can categorize is how many of that reports are of daily frequency of monthly frequency or yearly frequency this is also very important guys so we call it as a daily report okay or a weekly report or a monthly report or a so daily report means suppose if you are so this daily report or monthly report mostly comes in banking terms or banking projects uh what do you call like general ledger and sub ledger suppose on 1st of july we got like say 10 lakhs of salary so in this 1 to 30 days of july you will spend that some x amount each day right so that are your transactions like today i have spent 1000 tomorrow i'll spend 1000 so when i accumulate or add all of this accumulate it at the end of the month i will know how much of my 10 lakhs i have spent so similarly this is daily on a daily basis if i refresh i will know how much of my amount i have spent and what are the different use cases like for some dairy products i have spent 100 rupees for restaurants i have spent like 500 rupees for shopping i have spent 1000 rupees so the whole expenditure today is 1000 plus 500 plus 500 2000 rupees i have spent today so this is your gl okay so like that every day we might have 2000 5000 10000 so when you add all of that it should add up to your salary that is your monthly okay so we will write logics according to what we need in day to day thing and we might write logics according to what we need on a monthly basis frequency we schedule our reports at server level to refresh every day before our database refreshes so that we get latest value so this point we have to again remember so let us see any other questions if you have sql uh, chandra has asked another question here please also important or just sql is enough uh sql is very important guys and this is one problem area that <coughs> sql is becoming one common problem area so what is happening is now nowadays people are able to answer technically with in terms of tableau no problem but when i ask you tableau or sql questions you are failing not you means general in general if anyone like even if i when i take interview for if i ask in tableau he will answer but when i ask you simple sql questions like what is group by what is where condition what is the difference gone so when you will use group by means he will not answer basic generic question so that's why what is happening is the strategy is becoming reverse so to save time first what i will ask first i will check your sql knowledge how good are you in sql so if you are able to answer my sql questions next 30 minutes i will spend it on my tab so again so what i suggest is so this is all tactics guys so when you are going into interview it is all our master plan okay or you are our mind master plan so assume an interview can be minimum of 30 minutes and maximum of 1 hour this can be your range so 30 minutes you have to prolong whatever you know but you have to prolong so what we can do here first two, two three questions we definitely know what he will ask tell me about yourself or your project this is our two important damn sure questions so if assume we are writing our degree or you know final exams or any exams if you know any damn sure question what you will we will do 
will write pakka answer for that right so this is these are your two questions where you can consume time time is one very important factor you know because technically we are like here and there let us be you know assume like we are little okay but we want to consume his time so that he can ask us with less questions okay so what we can do is whatever the answers that we know take as much as time you can 2 minutes 5 minutes 6 minutes 7 minutes just go on so the tell all that so the that you want to <coughs> in that so like you are you are consuming 10 minutes of time 10 minutes in your pocket rest are 20 minutes in 20 minutes assume he is going into table first thing so in table also suppose he is asking he, he is willing to ask you 10 questions and luckily first few you are getting a question that you know take as much as time possible in that particular question suppose he is asking about filters just to give don't give one word answer to that filter explain the entire concept of filter with all the topics so what are you doing that way you are consuming again 10 minutes of him 20 minutes gone remaining 10 minutes now if he think if he thought that okay he'll ask you 10 questions because of time what he will do he will ask you five questions of five one is already done four questions are there so again next he will ask you another question so if you if you know the answer consume time if you don't know just talk concept wise and you can go to next question that way play logically with him when you don't know much of the table or much of the sequel this will help you from the number of questions asked perspective so normally what happens is uh, generally what i have observed even if you know the answer we give it in one word even if you don't know the answer we tell you sir i don't know i didn't do don't do like that consume time because he is not there to sit with you every day sorry whole day he has a lot many candidates to interview so con- see i am not expecting someone not expecting someone to start or you know give me the complete code in the interview i am seeing the approach so you can think from this perspective also so some interviews think from this perspective concept wise how much he is right approach wise how much he is right so at least if you don't know technically fine but you can tell your approach okay so how do we create a search bar in in a dashboard uh, we can do that maybe i'll create a video on that okay so yeah i think that's it any questions you got so don't get discouraged because you know you are getting rejected and all so this is all a journey okay like we say success is not a destination it is a journey in telugu movie dialogue one it is it is there in one movie success is a journey it is not a destination okay same way if you are getting rejected today don't get disheartened take it as a stepping stone for your next interview so write it down okay always 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 write it down in one book or one maintain one notepad so today you are you attending one interview write it down in some place okay so at right questions like vague questions when I, even if you don't remember the exact question write what is the question he, he asked so that when you go to next interview or second interview you you learn this first questions first he when he asked and then go for the revision of your syllabus that way you are covering the this thing so even i faced many rejections when i was trying for my first switch so i changed my approach little bit that is when i started having my own you know uh, diary where i maintain questions and using that i am able to you know uh, crack interviews sooner okay yeah anything else guys so yeah so i think that's it from my side for today i hope you find this session very useful okay stay connected and any questions you got you can always reach out to me write to me or you can comment in our channel i'll definitely try to help you as much as possible have a good day guys 
गुड डे बाय